These days, standardized testing is an ever-present part of the educational landscape. Kids take tests, and teachers evaluate them. And principals may even evaluate teachers based on test results. At grade schools, we know a school's test scores say something important about its academic success. But in themselves, a school's overall test scores never provide the whole story. Take these two middle schools in the same city. Teach Strong Academy's overall test scores are lower than greener pastures. Does that make it worse? Not necessarily. Maria's daughter Sarah is entering middle school and is considering both schools. Maria realizes she needs to dig deeper before judging. So using grade schools, she looks for three things. First, signs of improvement. Teach Strong has many children just learning English, which initially brings down test scores. But by the eighth grade, they're about the same as those at Greener Pastures. Second, Maria looks at test scores by subject to understand the school's strengths. She's surprised to find that Teach Strong's math scores are a little higher than Greener Pastures. Finally, because all kids are different, Maria looks for information about kids like her daughter. For instance, she sees that girls at Teach Strong do particularly well in the sciences, something that's definitely not true at Greener Pastures, where boys tend to do better. Despite Teach Strong's lower test scores, Maria decides to visit. Good thing, too. After touring both schools, she realizes that Teach Strong is a far better fit. Test scores gave useful information, but they were only a starting point. Maria didn't let snap judgments get in the way, and neither should you. Look at the numbers, talk to other parents, and visit schools. With careful research, you too can find not just the better school, but the very best school for your child.